Today we're going to be making okra soup. This is goat meat. I'm going to go ahead and season my goat meat with this season that I like. Okay, so you can choose to season your meat with your favorite season. Okay, so I'll go ahead and season my meat to my desire just like this and then i'll go ahead and add onions about two handful of onions just like this and then cover and let it cook without water after a few minutes and the goat is cooking pretty good so i'll go ahead and prepare the fish that will be going into this soup today as you can see this meat or fish it's from africa nigeria and this is the okra that i'm going to be cooking that i got from amish market and now my meat it's cooked now i'll go ahead and add water to start preparing the soup for the future road okay <laughs> i'll go ahead and add in my palm oil i love this uh superior palm oil it's one of my favorite best oil out here in america i usually get this from african store so i'll go ahead and mix it all together and add all those orish orish fish debone the fish make sure you debone the fish okay and then put it inside your cooking pot mix it up uh, just a lot of this and allow it to cook adding your crayfish this is optional but because i'm from africa of course we love crayfish Mm -hmm. mix it up together adding your salt whatnot so go ahead and add the okra it's pretty smooth right now but the second one will be a little crunchy 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 as you can see and mix it up together boy this okra soup looks so cute Wee so after mixing it together like this and allow it to cook you can add water if you want otherwise it's ready. Mm hmm. I speak that uh, me am a binige. Me, I don't know how to make a uh, make a mala. So I went to what to call it, Facebook or YouTube. How to make a mala? Mm. So I saw the video. So I started to learn how to make a mala for my husband because this is their favorite food. I have to learn how to make my husband very happy. So I have to learn how to make this uh, a mala. Mm hmm. Please, don't say that uh, I am wasting the amala I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to do it. I only learn it from uh, YouTube. I was were, I were not told in my place, okay? I was only told how to make pandijian because that's our food. So you can see me now. Eh? Hmm. This amala, he beats me. And I beat it back. At the end, my husband liked it because it came out so well. As you can see, this is a lot of hard work. Oh. Mm. You may... Please increase the money you are giving to your wife because uh, making this uh, traditional food, mm, it's not an easy thing, no. It's a lot of work. A lot of work. You don't even need no exercise or no gym. Do this. You have a good uh, hand muscle, mm -hmm, as you can see. If you are not strong, upper hand, if you are not strong, eh, you can't make this amala. So, the end of this video... Um, I forget to add it or I forget to record the end. But pretty much this is what you do from A to Z. This is how you start making Amala and this is how you finish it. But as you can see, after I mix everything together, I went to it to add water and let it cook between 5 to 10 minutes. And then come back and start cooking it the same like this until a firm and ready to eat. Then, after you finish uh, mixing this amala together, you can let it sit for 5 to 10 minutes so that it can mold very well mm -hmm, before you start eating it. So, that's the part that I lost in this video, but still the same thing. The same way you started, the same way you ended. So, you women out there who marry someone that is not from your tribe, please learn to cook the food that the man loves, okay? Mm -hmm. We know that food cannot keep a man. Any man that wants to live, we always live, but at least try your best to please your man to the best of your ability. Uh -huh. At this point now, 
ask for this radio it's time to serve it i serve it really good and we enjoy it just like the way i enjoy making this food we also enjoy eating it and as always as always thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you guys again on my next video